It's the Jill of All Trades, Michelle C, a.k.a. DJ Make a Move. She cute. Your host of Candy Kids TV, everywhere you need to be. <laughs> and if you don't know by now, it's not your typical interview, y'all. Candy Kisses, blown away. Candy Kisses, TV for tomorrow today. Throw that all through on that bitch, have you sound like Teddy Pine. like you know for the for the the lady who you know settles for, for a man who's cheating on but he's, he's well off well mm -hmm. I think it, it's just it's subjective because it's based on her already low standard so she if she sure. if she's dating trap guys who who have cheated on her and she's accepted them mm -hmm. what's, what's the big deal about accepting Diddy he's That's true. far more well off and fits her picture for where she wants to go in her future true. But the, the commonality is she's used to being cheated on. I'm not saying it's good, but that's why, you know, it's based on her, her, her well, own well, that, that, that also That also goes back to but prior to getting married, you have to uh, really have a, a realistic conversation about your expectations. Like, what do your expectations look like? You know what I mean? Like, what do you, you how, how fast do you like to, um, do you, would you forgive me for something basic? You know, or, or like, what is that, like, what does that look like in your world? You know, what's the longest friendship you got? Right. Tell me about a breakdown in that friendship. How did y'all get back together? That. How did y'all recover from that? Right. You know, so the, the people aren't even, they're not very transparent with those types of things. Right. Oh, no, absolutely. We, we live in a circle. That goes back to the friendship, because if you learn your friend, you know the ups and downs and absolutely. how to fix the situation. Absolutely. Like, if my relationship with that, that's what's like me and you fall out. You know me well enough to know, leave her alone for a minute, then she's going to come back. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that, you would be like, well, yeah, I don't but know it's almost like saying let's let's be friends, but but go ahead and bookmark it. Make me a placeholder so you don't sleep with nobody else during the time that I'm getting to know you as a friend. Mm -hmm. you, right. have to, you have to make some level of a you know commitment. of a commitment or intention. You have to right. state an intention. So just being friends, a lot of times that's just life circumstantial. Like mm -hmm. if you in, if you happen to be friends and you marry yeah. your best friend, cool. But if you meet someone, you're attracted to them. They're attracted to you. You can't be like okay, let's be friends first. Now hope. Hold it on, hold the door. No, 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 no. I think you could. I think you could. Well, it, it, it can be a challenge, especially in today's dating world, you know, considering we have technology that brings people together and when you go onto a dating app, you both have the same intention. It's not to be friends. Right. It's to start hopefully a romantic relationship that goes wherever you desire it to go. And so building a friendship, I mean, sadly, it, it is more difficult, I think, in today's time, especially as you get older, um, to, to establish that first. But I think it's just about being confident with who you are, knowing what you want, um, and being transparent. Because if you want your partner, this individual who you're seeking to be in a relationship with to be transparent with you, you need to also have a space of transparency in your own life. So because women are not really making new friends like that. I've had I've had some women be like, I don't want friends. I got friends. You mean guy friends? Yeah. They don't make guy friends. No, I make guy friends before I make a female well, friend. Shirley, you are an anomaly. <laughs> you do know that. But but my yeah. thing is a lot of times, you know, especially if a woman is attracted to a guy, mm -hmm. being friends sets her back. And, and it's not that progressive. That's to not a progressive. degree, it depends yeah. on how you approach it. But the friendship yeah. could be in a, I mean, I hate to say group setting because I used to despise this <laughs> uh, in my 20s when they say, oh, group setting, group setting. Yeah. But uh, quite honestly, you know, that's how you and I met yeah. in a group setting. I mean, it just kind of, it was two groups of friends that kind of came together and we weren't really checking for each other then, obviously. But in a lot of couples that I've seen even online, many of them have met and just 
you know, a friendship setting. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, oh, let's be friends and go get Starbucks and be friends for the next 10, 5, yeah. 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then now we're romancing. No, it can just, you can still be very intentional about what you want, but then also build some type of friendship. And the friendship ain't got to be forever. It could be right. a couple right. of months, a couple of weeks. Absolutely. Well, the group settings, I feel like, works a lot because it shows the true person. Absolutely. Because when you're on a one-on-one, -on -one, everybody's showing the representative. Let me make sure I don't eat too much. Let me make yeah, sure yeah, I'm not, you know, yeah, it's stupid on the front. shit. You know what, but, <laughs> right. But as well, I just, to, I just want to point this out. Like, so we're not in high school, we're not in college, right? Right. So the I, the the idea that you're going to get into a group setting with somebody else that you are, you know, mutually right. attracted to, right. you know, the, though those things happen, it's still very. It's a very. Yeah, the older you get, you just don't. It's, have it's, not, it's not that right. common. So my thing is, the majority of the women that I'm going to meet that I'm attracted mm -hmm. to are probably not friends with people I'm friends with. So, and sure. we're not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to have a controlled environment where we're like, bam, we're gonna ball it. Unless you're in a bowling league, you know. I mean, right. it's right. like right. what happens. Like, like, like for real, yeah. 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 What? That's true. <laughs> but 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 uh, I, I think that you know, not, not to get all Jesusy, but one. <laughs> Uh, it's safety in the most good counsel, right? Mm -hmm. So if you meet someone and y'all are not friends, but you but you think this could work, you need to bring them around your people, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To, to, to be able to kind of give you some counsel about this, right? Because guess what? You may not see the, that she for the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But your boys do, you know what I mean? Or right. your or your or your, or your homegirl, like, oh, yo, I I, I already already. Keep but now you gotta think about you your know? friends though too, because yeah. your friends, if they care about you, they don't want to break down your relationship either. They're not gonna say, That's yeah, that ain't for you. They gonna let you do you, and then if you need help, then we'll give you yeah. some advice. Mine is no, 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 I'm like, mom, if, if you like it, I love it. You know, right? It's I, like it ain't my business. I'll, how does he treat you? What I ask you, Eric? How does he treat you? Is he yeah. treat you well? Okay, yeah. cool. You, you yeah, but 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 I'm still, telling. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Snitch, snitches I'm get stitches. <laughs> I like it. You like it? I love it. I mean, let, until I don't. If, <laughs> okay. if, if it's something, I mean, yeah, but if, it's, yeah. if it's something I'm indifferent about, it's like yeah. cool. You like her, cool. I like her. Right. If I don't like her, there's a reason. Are you going to right. be open enough to just flat out say I don't like this person? I don't think that I would. I don't think don't that I, I would. I would not articulate it in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I don't know if I would say. I wonder if I would say I don't like this person. Because I would say. Like I would say this is what I see. Though. Absolutely. Yes. Make sure you tune in for part four next Monday. Tune in every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.